What's going on everybody? My name is Bobby and I'm just another reactor here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be reacting to Deep Purple's Mistreated and this is from Yoyoka's 12th birthday session. But before I get to this reaction I just want to remind you all to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel there's a PayPal link in the description. Or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser, which is a cryptocurrency browser. You can even donate through the Cash App using my email address, which is also in the description below. But donations to my channel are not necessary. They're not required. You can watch my videos for free. But any support for my channel is greatly appreciated. Now this is the third video of four that was requested by someone that I've mentioned before. His name is Byron Butterfield. He gave me a really nice donation or a couple of donations through PayPal uh, just to support my channel and I really appreciate that. Uh, I've mentioned him in some of my other Yoka reactions and he requested four songs and I said I was going to react to them but not one after the other. I was going to do a few other reactions in between. Uh, the last reaction I did that he requested was uh, by uh, YYZ by Rush, and now I'm going to do this one, uh, Deep Purple's Mistreated. After this one, I'll have one more from his list of requests, like I said, four songs, and then I'm going to get into some other Yoyoka stuff as I go, because she's really awesome. Now, before I get to this reaction as well, uh, I'm going to put a a link in the description with the time code for when the reaction starts because there's a comment or some comments that I want to address from my uh, last Yoyoka reaction to the song YYZ by Rush. There was somebody on there named John McSmith and I really don't like calling people out but he commented on my channel and his name was there. I'm sure other people probably read it uh, he actually deleted his comments and I'll explain why or you'll probably know why but I just want to address something he said and, and a little bit of a back and forth we got into and this is no in no way meaning to you know put him down or you know like bully him or anything in any way I don't, I don't mean to do that I just want to address some things he accused me of so anyway um when I posted that uh, YYZ reaction by Yoyoka, uh, I was getting some comments and I come across this one, his first comment. Uh, now I will say too, before I start, um, we had a little bit of a back and forth with comments, not very long, uh, and I said something and at that point he deleted all his comments. Uh, not really sure why he would do that. So when I was uh, thinking about addressing this, I was going to screenshot the comments, including my replies, but I could, he deleted his comments before I could screenshot them, so it deleted my comments with them. So I don't remember everything that I said exactly, but I'll try to remember basically how I replied to these comments. I do have his comments because they came in my email, so when he deleted his comments, they were still in my email. So anyway, uh, the first comment he left there, I mentioned on the uh, uh, YYZ reaction uh, by Yoyoka that I mentioned Byron Butterfield and his donation and all that and how much I appreciated it and that I was going to react to the songs he requested, which is what I do um, to anybody that supports my channel in that way and get my dog. <laughs> So I get this uh, comment and John McSmith, like I said, and, and I'll have the comment up down here on the screen. But he said, now Byron has bought you off too, like all the others. When he tells you to block others, etc., now you have to do it. Your own now, WTG, I'm guessing that stands for a way to go. So your own now, way to go. Don't do anything contrary to what Byron wants, or no more money, understand? <laughs> okay, so 
So there's so many things wrong with that comment there. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so first of all, nobody is going to buy me off with their money. I really do appreciate the donations. It really helps my channel. But like I say, they're not necessary and they're not required. Uh, if you donate to my channel, I welcome it and I appreciate it. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to like anything that you request I react to. If you, re if you request a song for me to react to, I'll do it. But if I don't like it, I'm going to say I don't like it. Now, like I've said before in other reactions, if I don't like something, I'm not going to be a jerk about it and say, oh, these guys suck or whatever. You know, I'm just going to say I don't like it. It's not my thing. And I'll explain why I don't like it. And I've done that with some songs. I've, I've pretty much liked everything that I've reacted to so far, but there are some parts of certain songs that I wasn't too crazy about or some songs that I didn't like by some bands as much as others, even though I say they're still good songs. So, but nobody's going to say, you know, hey, react to this song, but I want you to really tell us how great it is. Uh, no, that's not going to happen, you know. Now, if you donate money to my channel and I don't like something you request and you decide not to donate because of it, that's fine. That's your prerogative and you don't have to donate anymore. Even if I love what you uh, request, you still don't have to donate after that. It's perfectly fine with me. But if you do continue to donate, that's perfectly fine with me as well. And I, like I will say, I will greatly appreciate it. So anyway, I replied to this, and like I said, I don't have my replies anymore because he deleted all these comments. I basically told him exactly what I just told you all, that nobody's going to buy me off in this and that. And, and then he sends another reply, having nothing to do with my reply to this. And he says, uh, he says, I knew before I even looked that you would have Band Maid and all the other Japanese idol girly metal band reactions. That's how these patron oh, that's how those patrons roll. I don't even have to watch them to know you said the music is great and they're so talented, etc. Don't get me wrong, I'm not lumping Yoyoka Soma in with these Japanese or in with Japanese idols. Yoyoka said herself that she hates that mess. Okay, so first of all, when he says that's how those patrons roll, not sure what he means by that. I don't know if he was on my Patreon channel. He didn't say anything about that. I haven't seen anything on my Patreon channel about anything that he posted. Uh, I don't have very many members on that channel, if any at all, at the moment. But he's right. I do have band made and other Japanese idol girly metal bands, as he likes to call them. And he's right. They're great. You know, I say it, they're great. And I'm blown away by them. Baby Metal, uh, Band Made, Love Bites, uh, Nemo Fila, you know, all of them, they, they, they were just awesome, you know has nothing to do with Byron Butterfield or anybody else's donations to my channel. I just call it like I see it. Now, will these bands ever release any albums or music that start to become stale? Maybe, you know. Some of my favorite bands when I was growing up have done it. Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, they've released albums I'm not really too crazy about, even though some of those albums still have some good songs on them. They're just like, to me, their older stuff is just better. And even some of their newer stuff, they still release some albums that are great. You know, uh, they just happen to release a few that are not so great. Now, will these bands ever do it? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't heard anything that's real terrible at the moment. There's some songs by Love Bites and uh, even Band Made and Baby Metal that I've said. You know, they're not particularly my favorite songs, but they're still really great songs so you know 
he replies to my reply with this that has nothing to do with my reply but well in the case of what you're accusing me of here John McSmith I'm guilty yes these bands are great and if I ever hear anything from them that sucks I'll let you know <laughs> and I'll let everybody know and I won't say it sucks but I'll just say sorry not my cup of tea anyway so I replied to that I, I basically said I'll address this comment or your comments in my next Yoyoka reaction which was actually uh, my reaction to Yoyoka's uh, Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. The reason I didn't address this in that video was because at the time I was recording I had other stuff going on and I just didn't have time to talk about all this so I just did that reaction. Didn't even mention this stuff and just figured I'd eventually uh, address it. So anyway, there was that. I told him I'll address your comments in my next Yoyoka reaction, which I didn't in that uh, Black Dog reaction, but I'm addressing him now in this reaction. And then his reply to me saying that, that I would address it in my next reaction, all he said was, it's okay, you do whatever you want to do, it's your channel and their money. But that plastic idol cookie cutter music is mind-numbingly bad. So basically he explains in that last comment why he's saying what he's saying because he hates the music you know so that's fine John if you want to I don't even know if you're going to be watching this and if you're not that's cool but I just want to let everybody know how I feel about you know if in case you think I'm bought off by somebody I'm not uh, but you know if you don't like those bands that's cool you know don't know why you have feel you have to come into somebody's reaction video and make a point to let us know that you hate these bands uh, or their music but you know like I said it's your opinion that's fine I disagree with you uh, so anyway that was that I just wanted to address that I don't know if any of you all read those comments before he deleted them but uh, in case you're watching John you're welcome to keep on commenting even if they're hateful comments but if you start insulting people I'm gonna delete you or block you so anyway that's that I just wanted to uh, address that so anyway back to you Yoka we all know she's awesome she's a great drummer mistreated I'm gonna be honest I don't I haven't heard mistreated as much as I've heard other Deep Purple songs as a matter of fact a few minutes ago I just went back and listen to it again because it's been years and years since I heard it I just hardly remembered it I do remember though when I heard it again I did remember that it is a really slow I would say fairly simple song to play I've never learned how to play it I'm sure there's parts in there that might be a little bit difficult you know but overall it, it sounds like a fairly simple song to learn so I'm guessing in this 12th birthday session uh, that she's still going to be serious like she was in the burn one uh, but maybe have a little bit more fun since it's a fairly easy song to play and we all know she's way more capable of playing this song than she needs to be but yeah that's that I just wanted to talk about that too I did listen to it uh, it is fairly easy so I'm sure this is going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to reacting to it, so I hope you all like it. So without further ado, this is my reaction to Mistreated by Deep Purple. And this is Yoyoka's cover of it on her 12th birthday session with this awesome band, by the way, that played in the Burn video also. So here we go.
Okay, <clears throat> I just wanted to stop it somewhere to talk a little bit about this. Okay, first of all, that vocalist is awesome. Man, he's singing this with a lot of, like just a lot of feeling and soul. He just sounds great. Um, this guy here with the Fender Stratocaster like Richie Blackmore plays sounds great. One thing I noticed about Yoyoka that I never noticed before, I'm always so focused on her that I never really look at the her feet on the uh, bottom left corner on her cover song videos. Uh, but I have watched her feet, of course, but I never noticed that she uses the same bass drum pedals I used to use. She's got the double one that hits on one bass drum, whereas I had two bass drums, so I had two separate pedals. But they're the DW, I believe they were, man, I, I sold my drum set uh, about uh, 11 years ago, 10 or 11 years ago. And I think my pedals were either DW 2000s or 5000s, I don't remember, but but I had those pedals for quite a few years. Um, she appears to have the same brand of pedals. Uh, I just figured I'd bring that up. but. Of course, again, her playing is amazing. One thing I will say, even though I said this song is fairly, or sounds fairly simple to play, uh, one thing that was difficult to me when I was playing drums, uh, because I played a lot of thrash metal and speed metal and stuff, it's hard to be playing fast beats and or even just mid-tempo beats and then go into something real slow like this. You know, it's, it's hard to go from playing fast to just keeping a slow beat and because man I, I tended to want to speed up because I just had that adrenaline going so that's one thing that's difficult I'm sure she's not having any problems with it but uh to me it was a little bit difficult to stay in tempo when I was playing something slow she's doing the little ghost notes again which sound great uh these aren't as difficult to do because it's in a slow beat uh, everything sounds great, the bass, the keyboards. But like I said, man, this vocalist, he just, he sounds really, really awesome. just wanted to say that guitar player did an awesome job on that solo that sounded great that had a lot of feeling and soul in it as well uh, another thing I noticed too that vocalist 
he kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Lou Diamond Phillips, just uh, his look. Uh, he kind of lo looks like what Lou Diamond Phillips looks like now, in my opinion. Just similar, but not exactly. Uh, one more thing about this video I noticed, and this is the videographer and me talking, because I do some video work, production, stuff like that. Uh, the other camera in front of Yoyoka's bass drum is slightly out of focus on her. It's more focused on the two upper right toms. You can read the text on those toms pretty clearly, and then her face is slightly out of focus. So that's kind of a bummer, but I can still see what she's doing, and she's doing great, of course. Well, that was Deep Purple's Mistreated, covered by Yoyoka in her 12th birthday session with that band. I don't remember their names, but they're an awesome band. And that was an awesome cover. Uh, a couple of more things I noticed after my last pause is uh, Yoyoka's pretty much playing a, a pretty, you know, simple beat, like I was saying, where she's hitting once with the bass drum, once with the snare drum. You know, just kind of simple for most of the beat, but it's more of a bluesy beat. But then during the, I think it was like the pre-course, she changed her timing on her hi-hat hand to like eighth notes. You know, 
you know, but had to keep that same kind of slow uh, bluesy beat uh, just doubling up on her hi-hat. And when I was talking earlier about how easy it was for me to kind of feel like I wanted to play faster every time I was playing uh, something slow, anytime I would change my hi-hat hand from playing quarter notes to playing eighth notes, that's a lot of times where I would tend to kind of want to speed up a little bit. So that was, you know, fairly difficult for me, but I was able to manage it most of the times, unless I just had the adrenaline flowing with a badass crowd or something like that. And I might have sped up a little bit, but I noticed that. And then during my Black Dog reaction, I talked about how some bands will kind of cue each other into when they come into certain parts. And I just noticed the vocalist here at the end, uh, when he did that kind of long, drawn-out note of his by himself, he kind of signaled with his hand for the band to come in to the ending, which kind of, you know, uh, is what I was talking about in the Black Dog reaction, how uh, some bands will do that. I just thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, that, that was awesome, of course. It, it just sounded great. That band was great. Yoka is awesome. She's got cool bass drum pedals <laughs> and a cool drum set and those badass Zildjian cymbals, which I've mentioned before. I used to use that same model of Zildjian cymbals as well. So anyway, that was my reaction. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I just want to remind you all again to please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. And if you care to support my channel, there's a PayPal link in the description or you can leave a tip through the Brave browser which is a cryptocurrency browser. And you can even donate through the Cash App using my email address, which is also in the description below. But donations to my channel are not necessary. They're not required. You can watch my videos for free. But any support for my channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you all once again for watching my reaction to Deep Purple Mistreated, covered by Yoyoka on her 12th birthday session.